Hello everyone, my name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater, and man, Black Mirror is a show that I love. I really love, and I can't wait for the new season, but apparently we don't have that much long to wait for the Black Mirror movie, right? Kind of like the Cloverfield films, they've got a film that apparently is coming out the 28th, so in just a few days, by the end of the week, that's called Black Mirror Bandersnatch. And now this hasn't been confirmed at all. This feels like a Cloverfield paradox push from Netflix, you know, that instant reveal and then that instant drop. Uh, but we are getting a little bit of information coming out uh, that has been leaked, uh, probably accidentally. But at the same time, it really gets a really gets the old noggin or joggin for what exactly Netflix has cooked up for this new Black Mirror spinoff film. So anyway, the plot and cast of Bandersnatch has surfaced, saying here that snippets of Black Mirror information have been sprinkled all over the Internet in the last few weeks to the point where fans have speculated that Char uh, creator Charlie Booker and Annabelle Jones don't want to make an actual announcement, which makes sense if you think about it. Why would they want to make an announcement of this? They would just want to have fun with it. They just want to surprise you with it, right? Like, hey guys, happy Christmas. Here you go. Uh, they succeeded in revving up excitement around the franchise's upcoming release, in addition to prompting fans to follow the breadcrumbs they're intentionally scattering. According to Esquire, Netflix has already des designed uh, a page titled Bandersnatch, which means that any of the streaming services subscribers can type in the title and be directed to the page. Once on this page, it's fear, It's clear that the title is referring to a film rather than a series. In fact, it's this image right here. If you bring it up, you get to see this looking at it. And it, it, yeah, it looks delightfully Black Mirror. This is There's not much there to look at from this point in time, but this is what popped up just a few days ago. So uh, it's slated to be... Okay, so according to the leak in December, it's slated to be released on December 28th. The film will be a choose-your-own-adventure style uh, film with a uh, level of interaction for viewers to engage with the pre-recorded content. Now, this has been something that Netflix has been working on for a while, actually. Uh, the idea here that they want to get into choose your own adventure content has, has actually been uh, put forward in other projects, mostly aimed at children. This is the first one that they've done that is aimed at the adult audience, and it's going to make the experience on Friday, if that's the case, a lot of fun. They've already released Telltale's Minecraft story mode on Netflix, complete with the ability for player choices. And other children-based content is also doing the same thing. Now, what Netflix needs to do, and I know they're listening to this because they watch all this content of mine, clearly, is they need to get the rights to the Choose Your Own Adventure line and then start producing content based upon that. Netflix needs to compete with other markets and do so in an interactive way that will keep viewers on the couch watching the content. And that, of course, could be something as interactive of this. And we, we we tried it on YouTube like a decade ago, right? We really tried this on YouTube, trying to make uh, choose your own adventure content that never really worked out. In fact, now it's not going to work out at all anymore, really. But this is something that could work because it's going to be on, you know, just with the remote. Now, it says in the latest leak, certain information regarding the film's cast and plot were released. Uh, this bit of intel confirms that the fifth installment of the series is not expected to be released until 2019. However, the film will continue their scheduled premiere of December 28th. Like a lot of entertainment news, the leak started on Reddit, where a user posted a screenshot of the Korean media rating board. According to Reddit's user translation, this is what Bandersnatch is about. It says here, a young programmer makes a fantasy novel into a game. Soon, reality and virtual world are mixed to and start to create confusion, and that the film is going to be directed by David Slade, who did 30 Days of Night, as well as Metalhead from season five of Black Mirror, which I think was like the best directed episode. Not the best episode of the season, but the best directed episode. It really felt like, if you're looking at it in terms of um, Twilight Zone episodes, like the occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge is, is how I got that. And if you know anything about the history of that episode, it really wasn't a traditional Twilight Zone episode. It was actually made in France. But what is Bandersnatch? That's another thing to look at here. What exactly is the Bandersnatch? Well, according to Wikipedia, uh, the Bandersnatch is a fictional character in Lewis Carroll's 1872 novel, Through the Looking Glass, and his 1874 poem, The Hunting of the Snark. Although neither work describes the appearance of the Bandersnatch in great detail, the hunting of the snark, it has a long neck and snapping jaws, and both works describe it as ferocious and extraordinarily fast. Through the Looking Glass implies that Bandersnatches may be found in the world behind the Looking Glass, and in the hunting of the snark, the Bandersnatch is found partly 
uh, by a party of adventurers after crossing an ocean. Bandersnatches have appeared in various adaptations of Carol's work, and they've also been used in other authors' works and other forms of media. This has everything to do with the fact of uh, public domain. But taking a look here at what a drawing of the Bandersnatch is, it is this creature right here. Uh, or it is these creatures. I'm not too sure which one I'm looking at here, but either one of these could be what it is. So looking at this through the lens of what the game might be, of what Bandersnatch the, the, the game that we're going to be going into, it could be going into one of Lewis Carroll's, uh, or a Lewis Carroll like world going behind, you know, going through the looking glass and going into the Alice in Wonderland, uh, world now, which is open to the public domain. And if a guy is making a game based upon that, he could be heavily bringing in other elements of Lewis Carroll's works into this specific type of, uh, well, event. And that would actually be really interesting in regards to trying to tie it together through uh, player choices, through a choose your own adventure style of, of film. And I don't know. I mean, personally going into this, I'm like super fucking excited for it. Like I'm looking forward to diving in. I actually own the DVD, uh, the one animated choose your own adventure, Abominable Snowman DVD. I bought it like nine years ago, uh, maybe a decade ago. Now I bought it. My buddy and I went through it in one night and it was a lot of fun. And I think that type of content has a home on places like Netflix, on places like YouTube, where people like the type of interactive, uh, narrative-driven content that they have the ability to control. And if it's received well, and let's be fair, this is going to be Black Mirror, and Black Mirror is probably going to be received very well for the type of stories it's going to tell, I think we might be able to see more of this. And this is interesting to me because it's taking it on from an adult content perspective and not one that is aimed solely at children. And that to me is amazing that they're actually taking the chance to explore these types of uh, types of interactive moments uh, and, and interactive elements from an adult angle. Anyway, I could go off on this for a long time. Either way, I'm excited. So I'm curious to know your guys' thoughts on this one. Do you think that it's going to be uh, a good experience, a bad experience? Do you not care about this at all? If so, if you do care, what about it interests you? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm very curious to know your guys' thoughts on this one. You can also call our voicemail line at uh, 818-350-3281. That's 818-350-3281. Again, I really appreciate everyone uh, paying attention. Happy holidays. Have yourself a great one. Be safe and peace out.